The National Eucharistic Pilgrimage is coming up, and joining me now is Vidya Sagar and Jonathan Sorensen. Thank you both for joining me. Just a little go. So let's talk about the pilgrimage and what it is first. So as part of a national movement on Eucharistic revival, our belief in the Eucharist, Jesus truly present in the communion that he established, said, this is my body, this is my blood, now do this in memory of me. Uh, so it's a, there's four different pilgrimage routes throughout the United States culminating in a, a, all going to Indianapolis, but this one started in San Francisco and it's coming through North Platte this weekend. And there'll be a number of events here at the, the various Catholic churches here in town as part of that. Holy hour tonight, Mass tomorrow morning, and then a Mass and a very large procession through the streets of North Platte on Sunday morning. So has this happened before? Coming uh, through North Platte anyway? Never in the history of USA that we know of. Wow. And uh, we spoke of four routes, mm -hmm. west and east, north and south. Right. They make a kind of cross over the country. Wow. That's mm -hmm. pretty neat. So yes. I guess how many people normally take part in this? When it culminates in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. they're expecting about 80,000 people to 90,000 people. Wow, so what happens once you get to Indianapolis? When it gets there, there's a, uh, this Eucharistic Congress. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like a, uh, a convention, mm -hmm. uh, we might say, and uh, with a worship of the Lord, as well as uh, talks and spiritual practices, um, confessions and, and other things, um, people meeting each other, uh, there, uh, there, and it's all centered on the Eucharist, on Jesus' presence in this real and physical way. As it comes through North Platte here, it's, it's time for us to just uh, spend time in worship, as well as to manifest our faith that he's truly here, not just, not just in a merely spiritual way or an imaginary way, but he's, he's walking the streets of North Platte in this new way, not just through his believers and his church, but even in the bread and the wine of the Eucharist as well. Yeah. That's why we are calling it a Eucharistic pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. Pilgrimage means going a journey to a spiritual site with intention of spiritual revival. Right. So here, Lord Jesus himself is walking with us in this journey. Wow, well, it sounds like a pretty historic event, especially it to come is. through North Platte. So that's really neat for the people here who go to Mass and all of that. So that's awesome. And thank you both so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course.